Meteorologist Lynette Charles, I think, is going to win the award for being the most excited about the potential for cicada snacks here this morning. Let's send it out to her to see if she managed to get through that live shot from Megan Knight. You know that green emoji? <laughs> That's me. That is me. Let's take a look at what's going on outside. This puts a smile on my face. It's beautiful sunrise this morning, that's for sure. And we are going to continue with plenty of sunshine as we go through uh, the rest of today. But again, we will add some clouds to the mix as we do have a backdoor cold front that's going to move into the area. Uh, there may be a stray shower, a spotty shower, but mainly dry. The bulk of the action really staying back off towards the west of us for today. So high pressure still in control. You can see that right there there and uh, with that we are going to stay above average so it just continues to pump in all the heat that we are getting for today that we got yesterday the day before that we have these temperatures this morning already in the 60s so it is 621 in the morning and it is 64 degrees right now in Annapolis when we should be at 55 degrees now for this time of the year it's 63 and have it a gray 62 in Manchester good morning to all of you yes you could get away with a no jacket jacket as you step out the door this morning. We're also dealing with the code orange that's in effect for today. So if you do have uh, asthma, if you do have um, heart disease, if you're a child or you're elderly, you need to limit your exposure to the outdoors for today. And we also need to possibly postpone that lawn care or filling of the gas tank until after dusk for today. And also everyone, if you like to exercise, you might want to do that indoors today as well. So just a few tips as we do have that code orange going on. Future cast again, picking up on a few more clouds. I actually think that we will see a bit more cloud cover than what we had yesterday. But if you think about it, didn't we have ample sunshine yesterday? So a little bit more cloud cover still gives us plenty of sunshine as we go throughout the day. And uh, as we head into your tomorrow, the day after that, temperature wise, we're going to keep these temperatures up and well above average once again. So we look at the seven day forecast and we see numbers uh, in the upper 80s. We're headed to the 90s as we head into the weekend as well. And the next best chance for showers will roll in as we head into the beginning of next week. We need some rain out there, that's for sure. Let's get a check of the traffic now with 